return on equity has decreased. What has caused this? Let's take a moment and try to understand this. What can, how to dissect return on equity and find out the reason for deterioration. So we know that return on equity is equal to net profit divided by average equity. Return on equity equal to net profit by average equity. We know this. Now let me do a small mathematical function here. I am multiplying and dividing this by sales. Similarly, I am multiplying and dividing this by assets. Right? So now the equation does not change. Sales and sales cancel. Asset and asset cancel. Net profit by equity remains. Nothing changes. Now let me rewrite this equation by bringing denominator one step forward everywhere. So net profit divided by sales into sales divided by assets into assets divided by the equity. Equity goes here. So now nothing has changed. It is still written on equity. I have just rearranged the equation. Right? Now what is this? Net profit by sales. This is net profit margin. Now what is this? Sales by asset. This is asset turnover ratio. Now what is this? Assets by equity. This is financial leverage ratio. Right? So now by dissecting ROE into three numbers, what we are measuring is the change in ROE is it because of change in operating performance change in operating performance or is it because of change in efficiency of the company how efficiently you are utilizing the asset that is asset turnover ratio is it because of change in efficiency or is it because of change in leverage financial leverage if return on equity increases because of increase in financial leverage then it may not be good news because we know that Financial leverage increasing is not a good news because the business risk increases or the financial risk increases. And hence, if return on equity increases because of increase in financial leverage, then it may not be a good news. But if these two number increases and hence ROI increases, then it might be a good news. Right? So now what we have done is net profit by equity. We multiply and divide by sales and assets rewrote the equation which give us net profit margin, asset turnover ratio and financial leverage ratio. Let's go back to the Excel and do this analysis. Why this deteriorated? So now we have net profit margin which is available in the profitability ratios. Net profit margin is 17%. Asset turnover ratio is available in the activity ratios. Right? activity ratio. Let's go to activity ratio. Total asset turnover ratio is available here 0.46 and financial leverage ratio is available in solvency ratios. So let's take the solvency ratio. So financial leverage is available in solvency which is 1.76. Now ROE as we saw just now is just a product of this three. So 13.4. No something wrong. Thirteen point four and twelve point six, the same numbers. What you saw there, the same numbers, thirteen point four and twelve point six. Right? So what does this essentially mean? So now if you interpret these numbers. Now the net profit margin has decreased. The asset turnover ratio is almost stable whereas financial leverage has increased. Ideally when financial leverage increases, let's for a moment, let's assume that net profit margin remains stable. When net profit margin remains stable, asset turnover ratio remains stable. When financial leverage ratio increases, the ROE should increase. But whereas what has happened now is ROE has decreased despite of financial leverage ratios increase. So all we can conclude is the deterioration in performance is predominantly because of 
decrease in net profit margin.